This is the instructional video for part number two, Stack. I'm going to begin by creating a new file on a standard IPT. I'm going to start a new 2D sketch. I'm going to use the XY plane. I'm going to go ahead and start this drawing with a line beginning at the origin. And it is going to go straight up 1.75 inches. I'm just going to right click OK. And I'm going to move this dimension off to the left here so you can see a little better. I'm then going to take the line tool again and I'm going to start again from the origin. I'm going to go to the right. And this time I'm going to be going half of the diameter, which is 0.5, and I'll be going the radius, which is 0.25. I'm going to right click OK, again just to move this dimension out of the way. And on this X axis, I'm going to grab the end of this 0.25 line and I can tell that by the little cursor turning green. And I'm going to draw a straight line up 0.25. And I'll right click OK again just to move the dimension. Now the next piece here is this angled piece that connects it to the top of the stack. I don't know that angle that it goes at. But what I do know is I know the top has a diameter of 1.25. So instead of trying to figure that out, what I can do is I can go to the top of this 1.75 line, and I can draw a line out to the right, and I can type in 1.25 slash 2. And what that does is it creates a formula that divides 1.25 in half. And you'll see that it turns out with a line 0.625. The next thing I'm going to do is I need to draw a line going down 0.25. So I'm going to take my line tool and I'm going to go to the end of this 0.625 line and I'm going to draw a line straight down. This is going to be 0.25. From the end of this line, I'm simply just going to connect it to my other 0.25 line down here and it's going to create that angle. I'll right click OK. And I now have the basis of the stack. I'm going to go ahead and finish sketch. And I'm going to revolve this feature. And since my only profile, it automatically selects it. And it's asking me now for my axes. So I'm going to select my center 1.75 line. And I want it to be a full re revolution. And I'm going to click OK. The next feature that I need to do is I need to create the hole in the center. This hole happens to be a counterbore. So I'm going to start a sketch on this top face. In order for me to get it in the center so that these this hole is concentric to the entire stack, I'm going to go ahead and project geometry. And then I'm going to create a point and I'm going to select right in the center of the origin, which happens to be the center of the stack. I'll right click OK. I'm going to press finish sketch and then I'm going to use the whole feature. When the whole feature pops up, it automatically defaults to just a drilled hole. I need to change it to a counterbore hole. Counterbore hole is the second on the list here. When I open that up, it gives me this option of three different dimensions. I need to change the termination so I can get a fourth dimension in there. So I'm going to change the termination from through all to a distance. This top dimension up here happens to be the size of the counterbore's diameter. I need that counterbore's diameter to be 0.875. I need the depth of the counterbore to be 0.375. I need the depth of the entire hole to be 1.5. And I need the diameter of the drilled hole to be 0.375. Once I'm done with those dimensions, I'm going to click OK. And I now have the hole drilled out of the stack. I'm going to next place this chamfer on the top part of the stack here. And to do that, I'm just simply going to grab chamfer. And I'm going to click down here to distance and angle. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the distance to 0.25. I'm going to change the degrees to 15. 
And then I'm going to select this outside face here that's a flat and it's 0.25 high. And then I'm going to click this top edge of my stack. It's going to create the 15 degree chamfer. I'm going to click OK. And lastly, there is an optional ease chamfer on the bottom. And I'm going to go to chamfer once again. And in this case, I'm just going to go up to the two distance. And I'm going to, or excuse me, the one distance. And I'm going to change this distance right here to 0 0.01. And I'm going to click the bottom edge of my stack. And I will click OK. This is the completion of part number two, stack.